Hi, I'm Steve Perkins, the Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, and thanks for joining me for another look at an object from our collections. I think most people recognize what this is. I think the, the look of it hasn't changed over too many years. It's just gotten bigger and, let's say, flatter. But yes, it's a TV. It's a very old television. In fact, it's from 1948, and it was used right here in Vermont. First, I want to take you back a few years to kind of talk about the development of television first. So the first moving um, images that got broadcast onto um, an electrified screen, so let's define that as television, happened in 1909. The first cathode ray tube, think big glass television or what's in this one, um, was developed in 1911. And by 1925, we started to see the first television broadcasts happening um, with public programming. And in 1920, the first TV station in Vermont fired up in Schenectady, New York out of the General Electric factory. Technology quickly progressed and by the late 1930s, most cities in the United States had television stations and wealthy uh, individuals would have um, small television sets that they could turn into. But now we need to fast forward to Vermont. Obviously, Vermont is not a big city, um, and so we're talking post-war, war, post World War II, 1948. We had a guy named George Dilley who lived in St. Johnsbury, Vermont. He owned a radio store, and of course, radio stores also started to sell TV sets. And he acquired one of these first sets um, to be available um, in Vermont, made by the Holocrafter Company, which was well known as a radio manufacturer during World War II. Um, so this, this television set, he wanted to try it out. Now here is a unique problem in Vermont. Vermont didn't have a television station or any sort of broadcast infrastructure until 1954 when WCAX um, built the first transmitter on top of Mount Mansfield. Um, so he and his wife and three sons hauled this set. It's kind of heavy. It took two of us to move it in here to the top of Burke Mountain, where he was hoping he could get a signal coming out of Boston, ideally a Boston Braves baseball game. Um, so in July, uh, he went up to the top of the, the mountain. He was able to jury rig kind of an experimental antenna using some equipment that was on top of Burke Mountain uh, with the fire service and the state police, um, and he was successful, kind of. So he got the sound from the Braves game, but interestingly enough, he got an image of a trapeze artist that was coming out of another broadcast from Syracuse, New York. They were both broadcasting on the same frequency, and on top of Burke Mountain, he could get both of those. I can't say if this is the first TV broadcast that was ever viewed in the state of Vermont, but it certainly was one of the first. And what a great artifact to have here in the Vermont Historical Society to memorialize this quickly changing technology in our state. If you want to learn more about this object, you can view it online. We have an online exhibit on innovation in Vermont, and you can see that at vermonthistory.org. So thanks for joining us today. Um, please, if you want to see more videos like this or learn more about the Historical Society, follow us on social media or check out our website.